What's up guys, I'm Anish Pistel from AndroidRoots.com. Let's go ahead and take a look at Mighty ROM and show you the highlight features and a couple new features as well for the Nexus 4 device. If you guys are actually interested in downloading and flashing this ROM for your Nexus 4, link is down below. Uh, so here it is, here's Mighty ROM. This is the first time I ever even heard of this name, of this ROM. Um, but it has pretty darn cool features I've never seen in any of the ROMs. So let's go ahead and take a look at those first and then we'll quickly glance at other features I've seen in the past as that can get a little bit repetitive. Um, so right here under sound is where you get a couple new features. Um, so one thing that isn't new but I wanna, it's worth mentioning is right here under music effects, um, you do get pre-installed DSP manager to go ahead and change all your sound effects and all that too. So you can go and enable bass boost. Uh, you can go and select a preset too if you'd like, or you can have custom if you want to as that as well. Um, if you want to go and choose that. Of course, you have a lot of options just because it's a DSP manager. Really, anyone can have this on their device, so it's nothing too special for this one. Uh, but where I saw new features, at least for me personally, I've never really seen this on any other Nexus 4 device or actually any other ROM. Me personally, I've never seen it. Uh, maybe I <laughs> missed it, but um, right here, if we go ahead and look at Ascending Ringtone, and if you go and tap on it, as you can see, if you go enable it, um, you can go ahead and the ring start volume will start here and on each ring, it'll go ahead and raise it up a little bit. Each ring, another ring, it'll go and raise it up a little bit. Another ring, raise it up a little bit more. Um, so on each ring, you can go and set the increased interval or you can go ahead and have a timer too to go and make a little bit louder each time. Uh, pretty darn useful for people who get a lot of calls but don't want it to be really loud at first. Maybe get a little gradual. You hear it and you can pick it up right away before it becomes really, really loud and just you know the whole conversation or the meeting you know really whatever um, so super useful for a lot of people out there especially business people too I, I'd say um, right there um, also at the very bottom I want to go and mention is that you can go ahead and launch music apps and when you can go and connect your headphones onto your Nexus 4 device it'll go and launch the music app right there and also right here you have power sounds so you can enable this um, for a sound and vibrate too so once you do plug it in or unplug it it'll actually make a sound so you know it's being charged um, very useful for people who have a loose you know uh, connector on their uh, Nexus 4 or a loose uh, cable too um, so they know if it becomes disconnected because because they moved it just slightly. Uh, it's really useful for that too. Or if you just don't feel like looking at your phone, once you do uh, plug it in or unplug it, you just wanna you know, hear the chime instead. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some advanced options for your display right here and then tap on brightness and then go ahead and tap on auto as it does require auto settings to show this uh, settings options right here. And you can also go and access these options via just a quick toggles and then tap on brightness and settings right there. It's super easy too. Um, and since it does automatic brightness, I'm gonna go and dim the d lights in the back so you can see that a little bit easier. Um, yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> I hope that's better for you guys. I'm gonna go raise it just a little bit so it's a little bit easier. Um, so right here you have options for go ahead and adjust the screen brightness throughout the day from sunrise to sunset. I'm still going to coordinate it perfectly for you. And you can obviously go and change it, adjust the sensitivity from very high all the way down to very low. And also if you want to get it just right, just for your perfect preference, you can go ahead and tap on adjust right here and change the lux at each percentage. So zero lux, of course, or it's actually 5%, so you can make it zero uh, percent if you want. Or you can go and raise it up all the way to 11. Um, so you have all these options for whatever lux it goes to. And you have that option right there. And they can preview it and then help to just in case if you need it. Um, so there you guys go. You can go and change the Lux right there too. And one other neat feature I really, really like and I really haven't seen in any other ROM because of how many um, options you get is um, Screen Recorder. So if I go and tap on this one, uh, you can see how many options you do get. So video size right here, uh, 720 right there. And you can go all the way down to 240 just in case if you're if it's going to be a really long video and you don't have a lot of storage or whatever. And also you can go and change the bit rate to pretty crazy. So you can change it all the way to 100 megabits per second. Um, so that's pretty crazy all the way down to one uh, one megabit per second too. So that's pretty crazy um, the ratio right there. Um, also you can go and record the audio if you can go ahead and you know do a game review or really whatever if you're a developer um, You can really use this really comes in handy uh, for a lot of people So it should it's, and it's really advanced options So it really should be very very useful for a lot of people. Um, you also have CRT animation mode right here as well uh, right there and also if we go ahead and scroll down all the way to the bottom of settings um, You have a lot of options for customization. Um, I'm not really going to go into any of these I just want to show you the options. So you have themes, status bar, quick settings, panel, notification drawer, 
recents panel, app sidebar and halo options, buttons, power menu and lock screen as well. I'll uh, see these options go and customize it for your preference and of course you can go and just read the quick description of each purpose of it. I'm not going to go into it as it's pretty much self-explanatory and I've done a lot of um, reviews of this feature too in other ROMs so I really don't want to go and repeat myself. Um, but that's the new features and these features as well that, be, that are included in Modi ROM for your Nexus 4 device. If you guys enjoy this ROM review be sure to like and subscribe and then bottom left hand corner right there. And link is down below where you can go and download this ROM and don't forget to follow me on Twitter and my other social networks which are also located down below in the video description. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.